in some cases it may lead to life threatening attack also so asthma may cause difficult breathing chest pain cough wheezing that i already told uh, and these symptoms can flare up also that can be life threatening so next is uh, what are the common symptoms of the asthma there is shortness of breath chest tightness patient will feel lot of pain in the chest and tightness of the chest there will be wheezing when exhaling this is the common sign of asthma in children especially there will be trouble trouble sleeping because of the shortness of breath uh, there will be wheezing attacks which can be worsened by respiratory virus like uh, cold or flu can uh, like worsen the asthmatic attack then what are the types of asthma uh, the exercise induced asthma this is uh, one type of asthma then there is occupational asthma which can be triggered by uh, like people uh, because of the workplace some irritants some uh, chemical fumes gases can cause that asthma then third is allergic asthma which is airborne uh, like triggered by airborne substances like pollen or some cockroach waste or something like that that can cause allergic asthma so what are the causes of asthma or what triggers asthma is uh, exposure to various irritants and substances uh, th that trigger allergies can trigger signs and symptoms of asthma so this this is again because of some uh, some particles or irritants that cause allergy so then asthma can be triggered off and this includes airborne allergens like pollens dust pet particles of cockroach waste then second is respiratory infections like common cold can cause it then physical activity like exercise or something can also cause asthma then cold air can cause asthma and air pollutants can cause asthma especially smoke so now uh, and other things that can cause asthma uh, can cause asthma is certain medications like beta blockers anti inflammatory drugs can cause asthma then stress and emotions can cause asthma then gerd this is very uh, like less common but it is this can be a cause of asthma that um, the acid can come back to your throat and that can cause asthma attack so these are the uh, things the, the introduction about asthma which we all know but now uh, what we can do with homeopathy to uh, like treat asthma so first i will begin with the case and if there are any after i'll uh, show you the case just let me know if anybody has some suggestions about the remedy so case 1 the case of asthma this is a case of asthma in female 36 years old Uh, so patient told me about that asthma starts with the fits of sneezing so there will be lot of sneezing and then asthma comes so uh, with the attack of asthma and sneezing she gets watery eyes there is loss of smell uh, she gets cough with gagging and feels her chest would burst out so this is the patient's feeling that when uh, she coughs there is a lot of gagging like uh, that as if she will vomit but there is only gagging and she feel that her chest will burst out there is a lot of breathlessness with coughing there is rattling sound in the chest because of the mucus uh, expectoration is hard to get out so it is uh, mucus is not coming out it's very hard and it doesn't come out easily so cough is or the asthmatic attack is more at night uh she trembles with, with the coughing so when there is coughing and attack there is trembling of the body little expectoration comes out with repeated hawking as i said that uh, mucus is not coming out and it's very difficult to come out and whatever comes out is of yellow color asthma is worse in the warm room and by dust urine is normal stool constipated since many years so any suggestion 
you can write or you can say so this is the case patient is telling you this is the acute complaint patient has come after all of the allopathic treatment and now she wants some relief and this is only the case nothing else what what you will give Uh, Dr. Rashmika, can you tell me if there is any uh, suggestion? I can't hear you. Okay, Kali by Brynia Arsenic Orthos will work. Okay. And Tim Tart, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, my my my. So the remedy that. Okay, so the remedy is justicia. Uh, so I have given uh, justicia in thirty potency three times a day. I have given in the low dose because there is no other. Um, mind symptoms or other characteristics. So th this is only the acute prescription that I've prescribed. So what about justicia? Uh, why justicia? Because uh, for uh, justicia is for acute catarrhal conditions of respiratory tract, uh, like alien sipa, euphrasia, violent, violent cough with, with breathlessness as if chest would burst. So this is the uh, symptom you can find in alien sipa also, but in justicia also you have the as if chest would burst out and patient has to hawk for expectoration to come out. There is trembling while coughing, lot of cough, sneezing, water from the eyes, constipation, loss of smell. So if these five symptoms you get in a uh, patient of asthma, you should give justicia. First is there's a lot of cough. Second is there is sneezing with cough. Third, there is watery from the eyes, water from the eyes and constipation with loss of smell. Think of justicia. Then other symptom that justicia covers is there's uh, worse from the warm room. The, the, this is the uh, remedy that I've prescribed in this case. And in four or five days only patient felt much better. So then I, uh, with, with the time, I raised the potency from 30 to 200. And patient is much better. So now the second case. This is a case of cough in a young man of 29 years old. He was experiencing asthmatic cough and coryza and sneezing since many years. He was uh, complaining of cough more at night after sleeping. So this is very important point that what patient says. It is during uh, when he goes to bed or after sleeping, what time at night. So this, this was a case where uh, he was complaining of cough more at night after sleeping. So during the midnight cough was more. Cough is dry at night. During uh, cough, he has to sit up. So at night when he coughs, he has to sit up. He cannot lie down. He feels something is in the throat and, um, and he feels constriction in the throat. He also feels tickling in the throat. Respiration was loud and asthmatic with cough. Little expectoration makes it better. So there was, uh, the respiration was loud and he was having asthmatic cough with little expectoration which is making it better. Like he was better with, uh, with expectoration. If mucus comes out, he feels better in the asthma and in the cough. He said he cannot drink water. He cannot sit near fan also. So this is the case. These are the symptoms. Tell me your suggestion. Again, I will repeat. There is cough, there is coryza, there is sneezing, which is more during night after sleeping. 
more in the midnight he patient has to sit up he cannot drink water also when there is an attack he cannot drink uh, water also and he cannot sit near fan so in in the summer uh, when there is lot of heat he cannot sit near the fan he cannot drink cold water the respiration is loud so what what you will suggest okay so so the question the answers i will uh, give after the the webinar yeah at the last i'll address all the questions so orum trifilum okay arsenic album okay any other so in antim art of course there is the rattling sound but in antim uh, tart there is uh, there is paralysis of the larynx of the muscles of the throat that's why it is not able to expectorate and there is lot of mucus inside the chest which cause rattling sound so that is antim tart but here patient is able to little bit able to uh, expectorate the mucus and it feels better falsetella okay lecus ag as aggravation in sleep okay so remedy i gave is arelia racemosa see we we know about antim tart we know about brinia so here i want to present few cases which i have treated with rare remedies that we don't really use usually use so so i gave arelia racemosa why arelia racemosa arelia racemosa is a very great remedy for respiratory uh, complaints and the very marked symptom of this remedy is everything starts when patient sleeps like uh, patient says main 2 ghante ke liye so jata hu and after 2 hours i have to get up i i get cough i get uh, this asthmatic attack after sleeping so uh, see cough midnight about cough tickling from the throat in cough sit up must asthmatic uh, respiration asthmatic at night lying down aggravate uh, respiration asthmatic midnight after sneezing from draft of air and coryza from draft of air so this is arelia racemosa when patient has these kinds of these kind of symptoms that patient cannot drink cold water cannot sit near a fan also so and with uh, aggravation during midnight after sleeping we can think of arelia so uh, arelia can be thought of in disorders affecting nose throat larynx bronchi lungs like the whole respiratory tract cough which is aggravated on lying down at night spasmodic cough aggravates middle of the night after sleep patient feels the presence of foreign body in the throat so in cases where patient says that mujhe lagta hai mere gale mein kuch hai as if something is stuck there or something is um, crawling there you can think of arelia racemosa with other symptoms whistling respiration patient must sit up uh, on lying patient gets tickling in the throat that aggravates coughing cough which is better by slight expectoration so for for some time patient says after uh, spitting the mucus i feel little better but again the problem starts so i gave arelia in 200 2 times a day and then like patient i usually say come after 7 days so after 7 days patient is better either i raise the potency or i keep on the same or sl like uh, i have i have to just uh, like judge what is the condition of the patient accordingly i do that so now the third case this is a case of asthma uh, in 38 years old male uh, he is a businessman by profession 
by appearance he was well, when he came he, he was well very well dressed neat and clean he started with explaining his physical complaints he gets cough uh, cough is dry kind of cough uh, and breathlessness after midnight he has to sit up or move a little bit to get relief heaviness in the throat and on the chest with itching in the nose he feels thirsty but cannot drink water he takes small sips of water uh, there is pain in the chest that extends to axilla initially he was very reserved and giving very point to point answers like i have to ask ask that sir what is happening so very reserved and not giving detailed answers so then i asked what is this the effect of this problem on you so what he said is nothing should happen to me uh, means i should be healthy and okay if something will happen to me what will happen to my family i feel responsible who will take care of about them about their needs so see patient came with the uh, complaint of asthma and uh, the effect of this asthma on him is like he is saying that if something will happen to me what will happen to my family i feel very responsible about it okay then i asked talk about yourself i am a family man uh, we live in a joint family we are a group of nine people my family uh, like my wife my son my brother's family of four and my parents so we live together and uh, we are a one family only so these are his words then i asked what is and he is very reserved okay so he was giving very uh, brief and answers not very detailed what is the family for you family is everything for me especially my wife i love my wife i am a kind of dependent on her she takes care of me he takes care of everyone in the family as i am elder brother we were two brothers and i was always more responsible and i have got less love from from my parents than my younger brother okay talk about your family and wife wife is an inspiration motivation for me uh, okay inspiration and motivation means i feel if she is there i will be fine she is a kind of protection and security so when this this is a, a time like this case was for one and one and a half hour so this is in short i am telling you so then the deep down feeling of inspiration and motivation is that she is the kind of protection and security uh then i can work more if she is there i can work more earn more for my family i don't like when she goes to her parents home i cannot stay without her okay what are your fears i want everyone in my family should be fine health wise nothing wrong should happen to my family i feel support secure with them like support i feel a support from them and i feel secure if they are there and they are fine i am in a way dependent upon my family and my wife i work hard to fulfill my family needs and because of my problem uh, if i will not be able to complete my duties it is dangerous okay so what uh, so i want to be all right because of this so this is a case anybody has any suggestion so here a person with of asthma complained with cough breathlessness which is more at night there is pain in the chest which extends to axilla uh at night he has to sit or move a little bit if he wants to gets relief there is lot of heaviness in the throat and chest and itching in the nose he feels thirsty so the patient is thirsty but he cannot drink water he has to take small sips of water then uh, he is completely dependent on wife and family family support for him uh, a mode of security for him he feels responsible himself also but he is dependent also on on family and wife
okay so fears is that nothing should uh, happen to him yeah so what are your suggestions kali ars very good arsenic album natrum mule wants to wants of support, support well dressed reserved okay any anyone else so this is a very interesting remedy in this case kali ars okay kalkeri ars sorry yeah kali kaab so the remedy is kali nitrate now why kali nitrate these are the repertory uh, the symptoms that shows kali nitrate but other uh, reasons also first cough midnight after 2 am about waking from cough kali nitrate cough air uh, cold aggravate itching cough itching from nose in cough walking while cough sleep disturbing chest pain asthmatic complaint in only three remedies one is kali nitrate Res, uh, respiration asthmatic thirst with only two remedies respiration difficult drinking when respiration difficult drinking when little even a means he cannot drink water so we have only four remedies there respiration sitting amelioration okay so th this shows kali nitrate but what are what are the other symptoms that points towards kali is uh first patient is mm, very family oriented very responsible uh and at the same time he needs support also he needs protection from the family so family is there he can do work if family is okay he can earn more so so everything is about family and kali kalis are the one who are too much uh, into family who are too much attached to towards family so they are very responsible towards family but at the same time their weakness is family yeah so so they for everything they need a back support of family so natrum is is little different natrum is more of emotionally dependent on me yeah so kali is not like emotionally dependent but everything revolves around uh, family and and uh, natrums need emotional support they need protection the word he used is protection security natrum will not use these words kali will only use these words and one uh, very uh, interesting if you will see boric one very interesting symptom is dyspnea so great that breath, breath cannot be held long enough to drink though thirsty so same patient has told us that i feel thirsty i want to drink water but i cannot because of the asthmatic attack you cannot just have that uh, much hold on the breath that he hold the breath and drink water so he needs to take sips of water so i gave kali nitrate 200 and then after some time i uh, raised the power to 1 m also and patient is much better with this remedy so now uh, other remedies rare remedies that we can use in asthma is this uh, sikta this is a very interesting remedy uh, it has dry hawking cough during night patient has difficult uh, like in breathing patient is unable to uh, inspire like it's very difficult pain in the chest which is more around the sternum when there is rheumatic complaints with asthma we can think of sticta so if any any patient comes with the asthma problem and with very severe rheumatic complaints we can think of sticta and rheumatic pains cause asthma in this remedy it is more used in the allergic asthma so when there is some allergic asthma think of this remedy there is dryness in the nasal passages tingling sensation in the nose there is great lot of sneezing 
tingling uh, in the throat provokes cough cough is more at the night which disturbs the sleep so what is the aggravation in sticta is when there is sudden change of temperature so the temperature change not the climate change the uh, sudden change of the temperature can cause asthma and amelioration in the open air there is lot of dryness uh, like at night there is more dryness and during the day there is little mucus that comes out extreme sneezing and coughing at night with sun uh, at day time there is profuse discharge at night there is dryness and discharges are hot and acrid there is uh, this is key symptom of this remedy there is headache with asthma then you can think of sticta the next remedy is seculia uh, this is also which uh, remedy that we very less use but this is a uh, remedy is of great use when there is respiratory problems and there is some uh, stomach problem also and when you examine you will see that there is enlarged spleen so or you can say uh, if there is respiratory problems with liver enlargement or spleen enlargement fatty liver you can think of this remedy uh, this remedy can be uh, thought of when there is lot of respiratory complaint in old age uh, then cough there is a cough which is aggravated by cold rings and from exhaustion and there is lot of exhausting cough fluent coryza is there especially during the day time and sneezing and throat irritation but you can think of this remedy when you have three symptoms when there is sneezing there is coughing and there is frequent urination yeah you can think of this remedy or one more uh, this this remedy is also used where uh, in one case i have given when there is diabetes and respiratory complaints this uh, remedy works very well when there is diabetes mellitus and there are symptoms of diabetes and plus respiratory complaint asthma or cough you can think of this remedy then there is whooping cough which is uh, with sneezing watery from the eyes profuse mucus uh, nasal discharge which is acrid cough is more in the morning uh, better by covering yourself and there is uh, involuntary passing of urination while coughing so in this uh, this you can how you can learn this remedy is when you have symptoms of allium sippa euphrasia plus causticum you can think of this remedy so it is also very useful in uh, pleuro pneumonia especially when there is stitching pain in the left lung think we can think of this remedy so one another case this is a case of asthma in 67 years old male it was an acute emergency uh, it there were it was a very bad terrible cough um, patient was like totally exhausted blue Uh, as if he will die when i saw him it, it i just felt like it's it's terrible like uh, and he was coughing spasmodic cough coughing 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 and sweating and blue face blue lips and he had pain all over the body and the age was 67 so he was old and with terrible condition he was emaciated he and what so he he was not able to talk only so attendants were telling me that this is happening and it is a like chronic disease and now the condition is very worse so i just what i saw is which is which i felt is very pqrs that he was uh, having a handkerchief in his hand and uh he was like doing in my room he was just doing this ta tapping his face with that uh handkerchief and it was uh, wet the hanky was wet and and then i asked that like why he is doing that 
attendant said that he keep on doing this and he always want this hanky uh, and he feels good when he do this so it was very characteristic for me that where i will find this uh, symptom and these were the symptoms nothing else and patient was not talking at all so tell me what what you will do any suggestion anyone with atrium album good okay but in viratrum album a uh, patient is in collapse state and the characteristic of viratrum is when you will touch the forehead or the uh, any body part of the patient it's cold it's cold like ice yeah you cannot just bear this much cold then you can think of viratrum album okay coralium what other anyone else so patient has terrible cough lot of sweating uh, exhausted blueness of the face spasmodic cough pains all over emaciated and wants that wet hanky to be on his face carbo wedge drosera okay okay so the remedy is this is a great remedy when you see that uh, because of the cough or because of the respiratory condition patient is going to die it's as if the last moment of the person so the remedy is mephitis cough spasmodic at night cough uh, like has to get up gets blue the face gets blue cannot exhale whooping body cough whooping body stiff concomitant is suffocative attacks so when you read mephitis you will see that patient is in this whether it's winter whether it's summer when there is cough attack the asthma attack patient is better by cold bathing this one so this thing only gets uh, like amlorates patient bathing cold water amlorates so other symptoms also like cough worse at night lying down with frequent vomiting expectoration on on uh, cough of white color cough worse at 10 pm must sit up cough must get up and walk hoarseness and pain while coughing this cough blue face as if uh, life would like patient will die so these are these are the symptoms plus there is bathing cold water amlorates think of mephitis uh, and we can also think of mephitis in asthma of people who drink a lot or they have a history of uh, alcohol we can think of this remedy there is one uh, more peculiar symptom in uh, mephitis is when there is attack of asthma or cough there is pain in the lower limbs yeah and in capsicum when there is attack of cough there is pain in the distant parts like if there is cough there will be pain in legs ears you know in the stomach that kind but when uh, in mephitis when there is cough attack the pain will be in lower limbs okay so uh, one more remedy that uh, we can discuss is grandelia this is a, a remedy that can be used when there is asthma and there is spleen enlargement so there will be rattling Uh, sound of breathing patient cannot breathe while lying down so this we can differentiate with ammonium carb how 
in this there will be a cough for asthma which is uh, worse when lying down patient cannot breathe when lying down in ammonium carb uh, on lying down at night patient cannot breathe from nose so patient has to breathe from mouth so here patient has to sit up patient cannot sleep so patient cannot sleep while uh, like uh, sleep uh, with this complaint in this remedy there will be wheezing in bronchial patients and here in uh, the mucus is so sticky that it's very difficult to um, bring it out so these are the few remedies uh, that i have uh, explained today thank you this any questions dr rashmika i can't hear you yes doctor can yes. you hear me yes. great great lovely lovely presentation doctor so any questions yeah somebody has okay. some yeah yes uh, the question was did you give the constitutional remedy after you gave uh, justica no i have yeah. Not. yeah i have repeatedly given uh, justicia only and the uh, patient was better so th there was not no stand still that i have to change the remedy so patient was better with this remedy and uh, he did very well with the remedy so i there was no need of giving any other remedy so and i feel there is um, in organon also there is no nothing like constitutional remedy uh dr hanuman also said that according to the present complaints you can give and you can treat the person so if justicia is working well uh, there is no need of any other constitutional remedy and patient is not giving you any mental symptoms and other symptoms like in kali nitrate case patient gave the fears also the dreams also the mental aspect also so there you can of course give a totality of uh, you can take the totality picture of the person and you can match it and give a remedy but once the symptoms will change the the mental sphere will change you have to change the remedy uh doctor uh, we have another question yeah uh, raj rani has asked since when is miss is missing in all cases is it important to mention it or not what what I, uh since when is missing in all cases so the how how since when is the how long has the person been suffering the individual okay, has okay, been okay. yeah no, that, that i have I, here i have not mentioned but like in the last case in mephitis case only patient is 67 years old and patient has a chronic problem of asthma his attendant said that uh, he is having a uh, this for so long but of course uh patient has taken all the ayurvedic treatment the allopathic treatment the inhalers the everything and then they come to us when they have nothing and they say this is an emergency case because nothing is working and as if he is going to die there of course i in the case taking i always ask since when you are suffering from this but that time the 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 present complaints the picture the characteristic feature that uh, is coming out is more important for me because if since um, there was some causation also for example i'll tell you if in a case there you uh, find out that there is a causation in such a case it, this caused this like asthma it is of of course very important but at that time uh, when you have to like uh, when you have to give some emergency uh, medicine to the patient and you have to tell them that yes you will be fine with this medicine with homeopathy you have to give something very strong that will work instantly you cannot say person yes now after two days you come to me and you will be better or three days or four days something that will work maybe in few hours only few minutes only so for that those things that is of past is less important because the layer that is presenting that time is more important yeah so once you will give mephitis patient is better then you can call the patient and ask that how, since how many uh, like how many years you have this problem what is happening what are the layers 
this happened then what happened then you can you know in layers you can treat the patient but in few cases you have to give very emergency and instant uh, relief yeah yeah any other questions any other questions please do type in the chat box we'd love to answer them any other questions thank you yes doctor it was a wonderful uh, thing where you had explained uh, explained the whole thing by our case like uh, they say right experience would speak uh, much better and it will actually you'll be able to understand much better when there's a case presented and along with the case you're learning you know simultaneously along with the case it, it you know it gets into your brain and you understand the remedy more you understand the way you prescribe more you understand everything much better than just a book uh, book learning yeah. so uh, i want to change that i uh, my mind yes doctor uh, please do i want to share it with you uh, people uh, so what is that case is this is a uh, same the asthma the coughing uh, when first she came to me is Uh, she said that i have cough and it, it uh, the cough is too much i cannot sleep so i said okay so i um, asked few symptoms and i got few symptoms and i gave a remedy uh with which uh, and and she said i will only come uh, again if i will be better because uh, i have gone to many doctors and there were there is no relief she said this to me and i gave her remedy and patient and he she is better and after 15 days she came and she was better but then i asked that uh, like deep deeply i asked that what other problems you are having other disease you are having uh, and then uh, she said yes i have heart problem also in the first meeting she did not mention anything about it she just mentioned i have asthma but i am not taking anything i have cough nothing is this in second uh, meeting she said that yes i have heart disease and patient uh, and doctor has suggested me for a surgery but i don't want to go because of some family uh, problems or whatever i don't want to go for any surgery i have this 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 and then i asked that give me your reports at least send me i can see then then i uh, i just saw all the reports and uh, that this is this is a case of cardiac asthma yeah so there is lot of heart problems and because of that there is asthma also now respiratory uh, lungs are involved and uh, then i then i uh, said about the x ray and x ray showed there is lot of um, water in the lungs yeah so this is also one more condition in the case so i was giving like two three remedies first i gave antim tart then i gave the other then i gave the arsenic and with the arsenic she felt better then i repeated arsenic but the case was stand still the arsenic was helping but not totally uh, it was like uh, giving uh the cure then i uh, like studied again and again uh, her case that what is that that i am missing all the complaints are covered by arsenic and uh, the personality is also like arsenic everything is uh, uh, matching with the arsenic then uh, then i then i did a ultrasound her ultrasound that shows that liver uh, there is a liver uh, like fatty there is enlarged liver and then i uh, like i repertorized and there is one rubric that you will find in many remedies but exactly in ars iod there is a rubric that uh, this coughing is more at night and patient has to bend like like this patient has to sit like this whole night yeah to to be little better to to breathe properly and 
uh, iode iode is iodum that covers all the like uh, organs so if liver is involved so iodum is very good remedy so then i was sure about the ars iode because i was sure about the arsenic alb so where i was missing is it was not arsenic alb it was ars iode so i gave ars iode in and in 21 days we did a uh, ultrasound again and uh, this chest x ray again there was no water at all in the lungs and he was much better so this is a case where i uh, gave four five remedies already but at last i found that yes this is ars iode so here what uh, in this case i what i learned is that of course uh, at what time you have to uh, tell patient to in, uh, about the investigation so investigations are also very important that can give us a direction to which remedy to yeah the sphere of action of the remedy everything in that totality so this is what i wanted to share that yes in different cases there there will be different approaches yeah dr rashmi yes yes dr so wonderful no this thing for our side of doctor yeah uh we have another question hi jan how are you i it's it's wonderful to hear from you we've already spoken about this uh it's a repeat question hello i appreciate what you said even i was supposed to ask the same question uh what you said that there is no mention of constitutional remedies in the organon but many homeopaths refer to constitutional remedies very loosely and i am interested to in how you define constitutional remedies doctor what uh, in what what i have practiced and what i have learned is see um constitutional remedy see you cannot say that yes i have taken a case and i have come to a remedy pulsatella for example so pulsatella is a constitutional remedy and whatever happens i will always give this person pulsatella only no it will not uh, work the patient will only not come if you will just uh, be fixed in a idea that this is uh, the patient comes to you in the first meeting and you come to a conclusion that this is the remedy this is the constitution remedy and every time patient will come and you will give, give pulsatella will definitely not work this can happen that yes patient comes to you uh, with and he gives you whole mind symptoms physical symptoms ev everything and you come to a remedy for example pulsatella you gave pulsatella and then it's obvious that at some point of time patient will change the symptoms because if you are giving a correct remedy for example pulsatella of course it will uh, cover all the abnormalities of the patient like what is the unhealthy thing in the patient and will and it will correct it so when it will correct it of course pulsatella will not be indicated then other remedy will be indicated so uh, i think prescription should be dependent uh, dependent upon what patient is giving you and what is the indication like uh, then of course with the experience and with the study you will come to know that where, when to repeat the remedy when to give sl when to give nothing because a lot of times when you have given the right remedy to a patient and after and it it worked patient will not require any remedy you have to give sl to a patient yeah so that so the idea of constitutional remedy in my head is is not very you know fantastic i don't believe in that so i believe the the change of the symptom then the change of the remedy or the repetition of the remedy oh uh, yes dr rashmika hello hello sorry i'm sorry doctor yeah no, i have okay. i mixed okay. it so sorry. you are satisfied with the answer you you heard it uh, i heard half the answer and your voice started cracking and my network issue actually went off i just came back with the i'm extremely sorry no 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 problem thank you so much 
No, tell me. My network is a little off today. I don't know because it's it's continuously raining in Chennai today, and okay. we've been having a heavy rain today, so the network's a little off. Uh, we 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 shall definitely discuss the constitutional uh, this thing, doctor. Okay. I'll just see the re-recording. I'm not going to take a lot of your time. I'm going to see the no recording, problem. and I'm going to discuss this with you. We have an attendee who's asking, "What about ammonium carb?" Ammonium carb. Yes, so the correct test I and ammonium carb I use uh, in patients where patients say that I have nose block and uh, at night uh, when I sleep I cannot uh, breathe through nose I have to open my mouth. So it is a fantastic remedy for if you you find this uh, symptom in a case. And then uh, the, the other symptoms are, you know about the bookish symptom, but this is the symptom that, that ammonium carb will work definitely. And entim tart, somebody has uh, wrote, no? So entim tart is the remedy where patient comes and say, I cannot, whatever I try, I cannot uh, expectorate. And there is a lot of rattling sound. So there is a, uh, no subtle difference between antim tart, brinia, apicac. Apicac is also one of the great remedy in asthma and in cough, especially when you have a lot of nausea, vomiting. You know, but apicac also has this. There is a subtle, uh, slight expectoration that comes out with a lot of nausea. Then you can think of uh, apicac. Wonderful. Uh, yes, actually, I heard the first half of your um, yeah. uh, the thing, and I, I definitely agree with you because uh, the 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 constitutional remedy is just at that particular point. The remedy will definitely change if the person cannot be uh, the same remedy throughout their life. It's definitely impossible. So. I definitely agree with you with uh, this thing. And we have had these conversations, uh, especially with Jan. We've had multiple conversations in most of the webinars on constitutional remedy. And she has thanked you and she's uh, said that this was the best answer she has uh, so far heard. Because Great. I, 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 in my mind, I don't trust the symptoms of constitutional Why? Because in, in practice, if you will, like when we were in college, we were also you no know, reading mm, the constitution, yeah. language, and we thought yes, if once we will take a good case of a patient and we will find a remedy, we will keep it throughout the life. No, it doesn't happen. No, that doesn't happen. Because, definitely. Yeah, when you are practicing, you will see patient is coming with this, and uh, but once you will give a remedy, there are n number of uh, like follow like you can see n number of reactions from a patient reaction mm -hmm. in the sense few patient will come and say yes i'm fine with this but now this is happening yes yes, yes few yes. patient will come yes i'm fine few patient will say nothing happened mm -hmm. yeah you yeah. have to judge that yes where you were wrong you have given the right remedy or not absolutely so constitution remedy is just that a remedy that is for that point of time that's it you cannot you know follow it no, yes, it can. Like uh, I have given you the example that you have given pulsatella. Mm -hmm. Pulsatella, if is a, it is a right remedy, it will work. Yes, yeah? yes, yes. But after the action of pulsatella will stop, a uh, patient will give you the other indication of the remedy. Then you have to change it. Pulsatella will not cover everything. Sure. And if you will see the George Vitholkers cases, if you read or you just uh, do that, see. You will see that uh, uh, in his cases also, he has given one remedy. And in second uh, follow-up, uh, if patient is uh, presenting other symptoms, he will change the remedy. And if not, he will just repeat or give SL. So he is also not saying that uh, you have to just be on one remedy for the whole treatment. For the whole life also not, for the whole treatment also, you have to change the remedy. Wonderful. Uh, any other questions? Anything more to address? Uh, any other questions? I have a special news to everyone uh, today. So if there are any other questions, we shall attend that and go for the special news. If no, we should, we should directly step through the special news.
Any other questions? Okay, I think uh, there are no other questions. I think so people definitely would be having questions and I hope Dr. Vasudha, you can please uh, uh, type in your um, email ID so that if anyone has any further questions, they can directly reach out to you. That would okay, be lovely. Thanks. Yes, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Sangeeta. It's lovely to see uh, so many people. Uh, the fam, the family always stays together. It's lovely to see the same. Yeah. If you can see the screen, Dr. Vasudha is typing her email ID on the screen. Yes. So uh, you can copy it down, yeah. note it's it down. Vasudha at the rate gmail .com. If yeah. anybody has any questions, just feel free to just mail me. I yeah. love. Yes. Uh, coming to the special news for today. Uh, we have been uh, building the website and adding all the previous webinar webinars into it and we've been not able to share with you the website details or anything because we were building it all these days and uh, successfully we have done all the back work and it's, uh, the webinar site is open so you you need to go and recheck all or review the all the previous webinars you can definitely go and watch it now because it's available to everybody. It's um, webinars.bahola.co. Even this webinar is getting recorded and it will be uploaded tomorrow morning uh, in the same website. So you can all go and um, browse it. So that's that's amazing news because it's been, I, I feel I'm extremely sorry for the past two, two and a half, three weeks probably. I'm not able, I wasn't able to, uh, share my share the website information with anybody because uh, thank you so much Jan nice to join yes I have unfortunately had a lot of trouble on zoom uh, getting onto zoom lately yes uh, so yes uh, if if you can um, can everyone access the website it's webinars dot bahola b a h o l a dot co is the website so you can go and um, check out all the uh, lovely webinars. It, there, there are webinars even dated like June, I think even before June, probably April, May. So we have, have uh, I've uploaded all the webinars. You can go and uh, surf the webinars now. And um, anything else, Dr. Vasudha? Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you so much. It's been a lovely, lovely webinar and happy Diwali to everyone. Thank you so much. We'll end the session with this doctor. Yes. There. Thank you so much.